Okay, so today we're going to be looking at Predaporter. This is a Kickstarter fulfillment that occurred recently for me. I have not played the original game, so I unfortunately can't compare this to the original game. I was just going to open it up, kind of take a look at it, maybe give some thoughts here or there uh, of components. We'll just kind of see what we've got here. Okay, let's get to it. Does anyone else enjoy opening this stuff as much as I do? It's something about the way that that cellophane kind of breaks. See, when it's tearing across the seam, it's not as satisfying, but there's something about, oh, that, oh, look at that. Just beautiful. <laughs> the simple pleasures in life, I guess. All right. So the box feels nice. It's very full. I'm noticing that it doesn't really close all the way. Um, that's a, a mild concern for me because there are some extra things, although they're quite small. I'll show you real quick. These are some, I think, Kickstarter um, promo type stuff that came. So obviously not going to be difficult to fit in, but the fact that it's still, it can't even close without it uh, being unboxed, a little bit of a concern. All right, so we've got a nice little welcome, thank you, the rule book here. Mm -hmm. For 20 pages, seems to be nicely illustrated. Lots of pictures and examples, so that seems cool. Does it have the, yes, it has the nice, these are the components that you should find with this. That's always a great uh, little check mark that you can do setup page so that's nice yeah I think we're uh, I think I'm pretty happy with that so far okay so what we've got here nice and thick yeah these are these are very nice I'm very happy with that I don't know if you can see how thick those are but they're they seem to be pretty nice I'm so cool if, if all the components are like that this is gonna be awesome and they they look like they're going to be right on. Ribbons, for what I can assume, are competitions that you're winning. Hmm. All right. So these look like they could be like player boards. Again, nice and thick. Good color. The art looks really cool. Right on. I hope the game is fun. Wow, lots of... I wonder if these are currencies. Is that what they, yeah, that must be currencies, huh? One currency, 5, 10, 20, 150. Cool. Oh, the game tray looks flexible. It can move around here. Or no, it's actually meant to fit right in there. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hmm. Fun. So, comes with like a removable here. This tray looks like we can remove it, right? And oh. The uh, plastic on the bottom even has kind of a stick to it, so eh, maybe not. Maybe that's just moisture from shipping, but uh, you can pull this out. It looks like we can have half of the game already preset up, and you can just kind of pull out from the bottom and start going. That'd be cool. Looks like we have stickers for, I'm guessing, some sort of standee. I don't see a standee just here. But, oh, oh, that's probably it right there. So there's a large wooden block. Looks like we have a... It almost looks like the monolith from Space Odyssey, but I'm guessing these stickers go on that. Yeah, woody, little, little wooden chunks for... It's like markers or scoring markers, maybe. They seem nice. Oh, they have nice images on them. I don't know if you can see those images. Some cards, let's see if uh, the cards feel nice. Looks like they would shuffle well. Yeah, these are these are nice. Thank you. 
All right, so we've got the board here. Um, doesn't look like it's double-sided. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but uh, there's a lot of games nowadays that seem to be taking advantage of like, you know, one side is two and three player and the other side is four, five, whatever. Um, oh, looks like it's a pretty big community board here. I have no idea how the game plays, so everything here is speculation, but I can see currency here on the top. I don't know if you can see that. There's currency along here on the top that seems like maybe contracts or something can go along the side. Some, looks like these are spots for cards that could fit, and then of course you have the, the sideways card because, you know, you gotta change it up. I don't know, I don't know what any of this means, so I look forward to finding out. There's a lot of activity going down here on the bottom. I wonder if that's like a bunch of end, end game scoring type things or... I'm seeing icons here that sound like they're kind of fun. Something about twos, twos, fours, and a no. Ooh, surprise, surprise. Huh. Well, I would like to check back in once we've had a chance to play. I'll let you know maybe some thoughts on it. Uh, if any of you guys have played the original or have this version, um, I'd love to hear your thoughts as well. There is a, what I think is some sort of a, a Kickstarter promo thing going on here. Um, I don't know the details of it. I, I, again, I don't really follow that closely for the Kickstarter campaigns. I'm sure there's plenty of information on there. I just don't want to read it because I don't care. Um, but it looks like you could throw those in maybe. Uh, it seems pretty small, pretty insignificant. So I, I don't think it's a Kickstarter exclusive. It might be a limited exclusive. But even if it were, it looks like it's so insignificant that it wouldn't really affect gameplay and enough that I would be overly concerned about the availability being not, you know, public or to all all players. But yeah, there it is. Good, good times. Thanks for watching the game plan. Uh, hopefully see you guys soon.